Welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Vin and I document my journey working in tech sales in my 20s. Today is Wednesday and it is super early, 5.30 in the morning just about. And I'm about to meet up with my buddy Kieran to go for a workout. But as I'm doing that, making my little morning concoction, we got some electrolytes. I wanna talk about making friends in your 20s. I'll also throw a little creatine monohydrate in here. As we get older, it's super challenging to make friends. You're used to having your friends from growing up. And as you get older, especially moving to a new area, it's super challenging to do so. And I wanna share this one piece of advice that really changed my entire perspective on making friends in my 20s. And so the piece of advice is don't wait for plans, be the plans. Don't wait for the friends, be the friends. I'm sure you guys can relate. You know, maybe you go on Instagram and you see all your friends hanging out and you're like, why didn't anybody hit me up? Or maybe it's like New Year's Eve and you're sitting home and everyone else is sitting home and everyone's thinking like, why are there no plans? It's because everybody's waiting for someone else to hit them up. When I started working in tech in New York City, I wanted to meet new people in tech that were my age that also prioritized fitness, but I couldn't find any groups or meetups of people that were like that. So what I did was I started my own. Once a month, we did a meetup for young people in tech that was centered around fitness, whether it was a, a, a run in Central Park, yoga, fitness classes in the city, and I got to make some of my greatest friends there. So I encourage you guys to take initiative. If you do wanna meet new people, put yourself out there, say yes to things, and create opportunities for yourself to meet new people. That's exactly how I met my friend Kieran, who you're going to meet today. I went to a fitness meetup in Jersey City through the invite of a mutual friend. And sure enough, he was there. He actually lived minutes from me. His gym is literally in town. So we try to do these meetups at least once a week where we can connect, we can work out, we can grab breakfast, we can talk about goals. And it's important to find those type of people wherever you are. I'm gonna drink the rest of my electrolytes and creatine. And I'm gonna see you guys at the gym. Guys, this is the Garage Jam. I'm with my boy Vin. My name is Kieran. I'm the founder, and welcome to our home away from home. Check it out. You'll see it is 7.22 a.m. I don't know if you can zoom in on the clock all the way back there. I'm not lying, guys. What we're up to, among things, is keeping a facility that's always clean and never crowded. But you can see for yourself, we have the gym to ourselves, which honestly, maybe it's just the little things in life, but there really is nothing better than a gym with yourself, with your boy, and breaking a sweat. All right, just got done with the gym. I'm about to head over to this little Mexican cafe with Kieran. We're about to refuel. I got some breakfast tacos that are calling my name. All right, we got the taste test. What do we got, Karen? What do you got? This is Americano. 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 <laughs> this is the best Americano I've ever had. We are here at Deli and Cap. <laughs> this glass is being broken. This is being thrown around. I got the breakfast burrito. I think Vin's got breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. But I'm pretty stoked to be here. No, let's get the let's get the rating. Way too big of a bite for a rating bite. You can tell with both of these. They ordered it and they made it from scratch in the back. This is really good. Nice. Oh, dude. All right, just got back from the gym, and now it's time to take some supplements before the work day. So we got some vitamin D. Vitamin C, omega 3s, some zinc by Thorn, strong joints by BPN. This is just an MSM. And then some turmeric. Turmeric helps with inflammation. That's my cocktail of uh, supplements right here. And I just do it in one take. And that's the morning supplement stack. At night, the only thing that I take is magnesium glycinate. And then usually in the morning, I'll throw some, uh, some collagen for skin, hair, and bones into my coffee, but we had coffee out this morning, so I didn't get a chance to do that today. Is it obnoxious and excessive? Some might say, but it is 8.53, and I will usually try to get on to work around nine o'clock, and I still have to shower and get dressed, so let's go. I 
12 o'clock. We're about to eat some lunch. Let's go. This is what we got for lunch. We have ground turkey, some leftover Brussels sprouts from the night before, arugula with olive oil, half an avocado, and some sauerkraut for the gut. This is basically what I eat every day for lunch in some capacity. Some proteins, you have some greens, you have some healthy fats. This is it. Simple little lunch. And it tastes great too. Let's just check out the work from home fit. Like we're going for cozy. That's we're going for a hundred percent cozy. We got the heavyweight represent tees, one of my favorite brands. I just wore them this morning to work out. I got the represent brown sweatpants and some fuzzy Uggs. I mean, this is this is the corporate fit. This is peak performance, is what you're looking at here. Peak corporate performance. Can't get better. I'm sorry. So I have a bunch of calls that are like back to back starting from one o'clock to 3.30. So I'm gonna be in calls back to back. Not that fun to film. I will say having a standing desk though is extremely clutch, especially for calls. I always put the desk up for big like demos. That way I have a bit more energy when I'm presenting. Um, also, it's not good to sit all day. My hips get tight, my back hurts. Yeah, being old sucks. But I'm gonna be here for the next hour and a half. I'll see you guys in a bit. We're gonna do some cold calls because your boy's got some dry pipeline. It's been with the man base. How you doing? Hi, do we know each other? Uh, we got introduced briefly over email from uh, who you were chatting with previously. Oh, uh, the man base? The man base, yeah, exactly. Awesome. I'm on vacation this week. Can we catch up later? I'm like driving with my family through Canada. I thought this was another call. Cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a note and enjoy the vacation and uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks, man. Bye. See ya. My man's on vacation, driving through Canada of all places, which I'm not mad at. So I'll respect that. I'm not the type of salesperson that's gonna be like overly pushy and like try to book the guy on a call. Sales is a long game and you have to play the long game, especially in SaaS sales, enterprise sales. Now, if I would have pushed, 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 why this guy clearly didn't want to talk and try to push for a meeting, push for an answer, push for a response, push for information. That would have created a lot of friction. So when it is time to start to sell and enter into an opportunity with this particular account, I don't want to be off on the wrong foot, right? I want to be in this guy's good gracious. I know we're going to break into this account. There's already back and forth from this account and us. We've talked to them in the past. I'm on an email thread with him. Um, I, I'm not really concerned. I'm, pl I'm playing a long game, but it is an answer. It is a call connect. We just got to push through it. On to the next. Eight, four. Seven, eight. Hey, this has been with Demand Base. Hope my name rings a bell. I actually worked with you literally probably like four years ago when you were at I did notice now you're overseeing a much larger operation over at Wow, that was like the worst voicemail I ever left. It was super wordy. So the goal of that voicemail is to get her attention. She probably won't call me back. Most people don't. Their callbacks are extremely rare. Uh, but what I will try to do is I'll shoot her a personalized email and then the voicemail should hopefully get her attention to my email and allow her to, to answer me. So that's the strategy going forward. I'm going to call a few more people from this account. Unfortunately, I'm unavailable. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Your call cannot be completed as the call is oh, I fucked it up. I have dyslexia. Hello, we help you? This is uh, Vim at Demand Base, and I, I know I'm calling you out of the blue. Uh, th this is a cold call. Do you have like 30 seconds to let you know why I called? And then you can decide Hi. if you want to hang up or not. Is there a better time to call you back? All right, see, we try out different We try out different things, and uh, sometimes they don't work. He wasn't really feeling the cold call. <sighs> so he kind of, I don't, you know what? Every time I try to go that route of like, hey, this is a cold call, like, do you want to hang up or not? I feel like I can't get it out fast enough and it never works out for me. Maybe I'm doing, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'm really struggling. I got a new territory like this past start of the new year and I am really struggling, man. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine, five, one. Yo, honestly, I have hit a wall, man. At the end of the day, it's 516. I sent about 20 personalized emails. I did probably 10 or so cold calls, connected with three people, zero meetings booked, one email reply, and a handful of in-mail sent. So it's just a struggle. Some, sometimes you have these days where you just get nothing, but 
all these little deposits will definitely pay off. It's the slow daily deposits that pay off big time in sales, especially working larger accounts. Uh, like I said, it's about 5.17. I'm about to just update my forecast because every Wednesday we have to update our forecast, which should take like five or 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna log off and cook some dinner. So. I'm gonna put this robe on because I always seem to spill on myself. happens every fucking time the fire alarms in my apartment go off literally so easily like you, you try to sear a steak you're setting it off you're setting it off the grass-fed ribeye roasted asparagus and roasted potatoes i almost burnt down my apartment and the smoke alarm went off but that's besides the fact now i cook probably six to seven times per week honestly i rarely go out to eat i rarely order takeout I just, one, I, I kind of like cooking at home. Cause look at that. You can cook a perfect steak, perfectly medium rare. This costs like 10 bucks to buy. It takes six minutes to cook. You cook it the way you like it. You avoid seed oils. You avoid extra stuff that you don't need. So you guys know, I am a part-time content creator on top of my nine to five jobs. It's kind of like working two jobs, honestly. I have my nine to five during the day, uh, filming throughout the whole day and then at night is when I edit my videos and answer brand emails. So right now I got my personal laptop open and I'm just answering some emails for some brands that I'm doing partnerships with in the upcoming month, all while watching the untold story of Johnny Menzel on, on Netflix. So. so that's it for the rest of the night. If you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe. I am like literally, honestly, highly prioritizing YouTube over other channels at this point, just because one, I'm having a lot of fun with YouTube and two, I find the view one view on YouTube compared to one view on TikTok is way more valuable. Folks are actually like engaging with me on a longer form. They're spending more time with me. And those are the type of relationships and followers that I do want to foster. So right now I've just been in the mood to just like really prioritize YouTube. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe because there's a lot more content coming your way. And uh, I'm going to answer some emails and finish up the rest of this documentary. Otherwise, see you on the next episode next week.